Okay, good job. Next car ahead is Albon. 7.4. 7.4. Hamilton has DRS. High speed management is very good. Box this lap. ahead of you. Gap behind 1.1. Just manage your tires, please. We don't think we need any lifting codes. Copy. lift and coast by 30%. Yeah, dropping. Okay, maximum focus on cooling down those rear tires. You can't save less. Yeah, copy. You need to keep your K1 usage down a bit, otherwise you just run out of battery and then you'll just be taken by everybody. Yep, copy. Go back to doing lifting coast now. Copy. From 
tire point of view, we don't think lift and coast is necessary. Copy. You've got three laps to go. Copy. First, he's taken the win. That's the checkered flag. We're really getting into our groove. Stopping on the marks and going to P1, please. Keep looking after your tires. Keep looking after your tires. You did a very good job. Okay, we take the flag. What a brilliant drive we just witnessed there. It's safe to say they exceeded all expectations. A finish in the point, and my goodness, it is very well deserved. Well, they've been waiting for this, haven't they? And it's only right that they make the most of it. And Carlos Sainz heading up to the podium now, the Spaniard adding another to his record. That sees them double their win tally for this season. They'll be delighted with that. And as far as those three are concerned, well, they'll be leaving Budapest hungry for more. Well, Karun, how do you think they'll be feeling in the team garage at the end of that? Well, it was a bit of a mixed bag here. Some things went their way, but others didn't. I think their main target now will be finding some consistency for sure. And that then marks the end of our time here in Hungary. Next time, the teams will be adding another year to the legend of Spa-Francorchamps. Anything can happen at the Belgian Grand Prix.